This is a walkthrough video of 4734 Lark Ridge. Lark Ridge is located at uh, Proctor and Beneva. Um, it's, a, it's an okay street. Um, you know, it, it kind of tops out just over 200,000 for single family homes. This one uh, backs up on Beneva. That's the bad news. The good news is it has a really extraordinarily large lot. It is uh, kind of triangle shaped. As you can see, the garage had been blocked off at some point, but never finished. The roof is totally kaput, and, and a ton of plywood is going to be needed to repair that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's been leaking for a while. The windows are all John Louise crank out windows, and it is um, needs a lot of work on the inside. Okay. So, starting with the roof. The roof is kaput, uh, active leaks all over the place. It is a block construction. Um, kitchen could totally be reconfigured. Um, yeah, that's not really worth saving. Take out the soffits and open this up. Luxury vinyl plank. This room was the garage, or I guess this was the laundry room at grade, and uh, that panel is old. I'm gonna say that panel is gonna have to be replaced um, most likely. Yeah, it's a Zinsco panel. Zinsco panels are no good. It's a pretty small water heater, also looks to be kind of old. Um, the wiring is incorrect there, that needs to be covered. So this was uh, used as a bedroom, I guess, or something, grow house or something. But uh, this was the garage. Might be worthwhile to turn it back into a garage. I like this. This is how you handle a roof leak. You just cut a hole and tape a paper cut in there to funnel it all into a bucket or something. But, geez louise. And uh, this is nicely done um, insulation. This is how not to install a uh, window AC. So, um, yes, this is a complete gut. Um, haven't been out there yet, but we're going something to look forward to. Okay, guest bathroom. Actually, it's not terrible. It's seen a lot worse. Um, might even keep that tile and tub. You know, just replace the vanity. Door's not broken, but it's yucky. Um, got a humidistat, that's nice. Okay, original terrazzo floors in here. Look at that. Um, never carpeted, it looks like, but they sure are grimy. All these um, yucky windows. But this is guest bedroom number one. A little truck next door. Shit, it's kind of a cool truck. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. Um, this is bedroom number two. This would be the master. So this walks out onto what was the lanai. And this has its own uh, bathroom. You know, bathroom's in similar condition. The tile actually is okay. You know, this tile's okay, believe it or not. I don't know if I'd redo that tile. Just put a vanity in. Um, yeah, the toilet's okay. I really would do windows all the way around, though. I mean, really, it's expensive, but make a big difference. Uh, the house has been replumbed. That's why we see uh, that. That's that's good. So. So the fact that the house has been replumbed means that um, that the there's no there's no pipes under the slab. Okay, so let's just take a look at here. Slider slider works surprisingly well, but okay, this flat section of roof is totally toast, as is all the siding. I mean, you know, this is a little concerning here. These two by fours that have been they nailed in there. Oh, no, no, those two by fours are there not to support the ceiling, but rather to support the broken window. That's all they're doing. Uh, door going out. Um, yeah, it's tiled out here. Huh. Maybe not, that is not under air, so. So, I don't know if I'd do this. I kind of should do the windows. Okay. Two bedroom, two bath, big living space, could be opened up. Um, let's just look outside for a minute. 
talk about this lot. Kind of strange, I noticed this, uh, you know, you can actually pull in from Beneva there, which is weird. Doesn't drive through, but you know, you could park here, which is interesting. You can come in all the way through. So look at this lot here. It's, it is a big size lot. Um, sure it would be nice if it was our fence, but this is a busy street. Suncoast Poly Tech. Um, I mean, it's a fine location. It's just backing up onto this busy street's kind of a drag. Um, the backyard is fenced with chain link fence. Pretty rough shape. Air conditioning unit doesn't look terrible. Actually, it looks pretty decent. I'd have to look at the year on that. But, um, this is kind of a nice, I mean, it's a big lot. If we're fenced with some bushes, it'd be an expensive fence, though. That's all, that's probably, I would say that's 100 feet and another 100 feet. You got 200 feet of fence, at least. <laughs> nice tree there. Kind dog, little shed. Um, here's the exterior. Need a lot of work out here. So, let's add it all up. Let's add it all up. Roof. It's probably going to be at least 10,000. There's going to be a lot of plywood to be replaced on the roof in addition to the shingles. Um, kitchen and baths. Probably get that done for 10 grand. So that's 20. Uh, flooring for about 5, 25. Panel. It's going to be uh, 1,500 bucks. Six. Fixing that. <laughs> 27. Um, what to do on this? Converting this back into a garage, putting a garage door opener in there, I think is probably the best bet. I think that probably would be the best bet. 30. You know, then uh, paint, drywall, repairs. I mean, all the ceiling. Drywall and paint, replacing some doors where necessary. Hmm. Say another five grand, 32. If we want to do a fence, fence would be five grand, 37. And you really need to do windows. And just to count up these windows that we have, we got, not counting the garage, one, two, we're counting as two. Three, four, five, six. If we do these, this is four more. Uh, five more. 11 windows at 350 per, and we're, let's just call it $5,000. So you got a $40,000 remodel in this small place. It's only 1,100 square feet, so. Um, I mean, it could be done. If you could get this thing, it's listed at 112, Put 40 into it, you'd be at 150, 150, 152. Hmm, and some landscaping. You gotta, you can't spend more than 40 on it. 110 cash puts you in at 150. Probably sell this thing when it's all said and done for 185, one, maybe 190. If we're nice, 195. But let's call it 190. It's doable. So, hmm. I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941 366 0000. And as always, thanks for watching.